Water under 32 degrees is called ice. It can be used to skate on to cool our drinks or to preserve food. It's called ice, but it's still water. Water that's past the boiling point is called steam, but it's still a form of water. And that, that in a way, is how the Trinity works. It's God's unity as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God who exists in three persons. I'm just thirsty thinking about that one. Well, I'm grateful for the three-in-one guests today. Audience, please thank the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for joining us on this exciting show of Heavenly Multiple Personalities. Thank you, guys. Hopefully a fun way, but um, gives us some great examples of the Trinity. Thank you very much. Well done. All right. Somebody read Colossians 1, 16 through 17 for me, please. Go for it, thank you. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or demons or rulers or the powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things. All right, so we're talking at the beginning of tonight about God the Provider, where all things in Him are held together. All right, something for you to ponder. Every moment, second, and breath, and heartbeat is provided for you by God as a gift. These gifts are given to those who, th who say thanks and those who don't. Who, which type of person will you be? Hopefully we give thanks, but we don't think about it all the time, do we? But he provides for us, and that is a gift of breath and heart. All right, journals, page 9 through 12. Open up your journals. Get familiar with that. So we read the verse from Colossians. Let's look at the bottom of page 11. Somebody read those three paragraphs for us as we follow along. God the provider. Continues with our everything is a gift. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. So much that we do take, and we want to make sure that we give thanks. So Bible time, we're going to start with this, and we're going to go into our accolade training for 10 minutes. So um, top of page 12, so the word providence is an old term for gracious providing God. The word comes from the Latin providere, meaning to prepare for. So we've read Colossians 1, which is on page 9 there. All right, so when you get back, I want you to list, each person at your table is going to list one thing that God has provided for you this week. So you're going to write that down on your scrap piece of paper. Um, when we get back, let's go do some training. Parents, have a seat. Enjoy the cool weather. All right.
Yeah. You can go sit back. <laughs> you can go sit back on the couch with you guys. <laughs> I did today
that the one came out with purple color. And I said, I, I think what you have, we need a break. So you took it very seriously. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of worried because, you know, I was thinking, like, so healthcare, I think we're going to be so
So parents, we're just going through the acolyting just to review with them. Uh, but just so you know, uh, your pastor probably shouldn't be a pastor. I was giving advice and I said during offering, the question was should they just stay up there and stand during offering? Um, and they were talking about how everybody's staring at them. I said, that's your opportunity to watch. If somebody doesn't put something in the plate, you look at them and go. <laughs> These are the things I think of, but <laughs> All right, thank you guys. All right, adults, if you could, um, have them look on the, the verse on page 9, and then um, have them list one thing that God has provided for um, them. So go around the table and ask them what God has provided for them this week. All right, everybody share one thing that God provided for them this week. All right, let's open up your catechism to page 116. We're talking about God the provider. Heading is God still takes care of me and all creatures. We're going to look at questions 108 and 109. Page 116. 